Andy Cohen, we, mm -hmm. we talked about how police sent out an emergency notification, a reverse emergency notification to the people in that perimeter so they knew to shelter in place and it's something easy everyone can do. This is a service of the El Paso Teller 911 Authority Board. If you got your smartphone with you and you're watching us or your tablet, get it out. We'll walk you through it here. El Paso Teller 911.org. That's the web address you want to go to and you can sign up for these emergency notifications. It's this center blue tab right there and it'll take you right to this page where you can sign up Enter your information. You can put your home phone, your cell phone, your work number, email, however you'd like to find out about something that could be going on in your neighborhood. Now, we found that this was extremely beneficial to people who were living in the Black Forest area, people living in Mountain Shadows when we had our two big wildfires. And of course, this is the same system that law enforcement used tonight to notify all of those residents that are living in that neighborhood area. Hey, you need to be on the lookout for this suspect. He is armed. Shots have been fired. Stay away from the windows. Lock your doors at least until the situation is resolved. And at this point, it still hasn't been resolved from the right. sounds of things. Still pretty an active situation over there, guys. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, money is being and money is being dedicated more and more of it to try and upgrade these systems to allow for more people in more areas, particularly in remote and rural counties to be able to tie into these systems that Andy just walked us through. And if we can get back to Andy and if you can show the perimeter again, because police are reminding everyone to shelter in place. They just sent out a tweet six minutes ago. They're having people angry. They want to get inside the perimeter. People want to leave. So walk us through the area. Again. So I hope you'll forgive my uh, my crude drawing here. We made this map uh, actually on Google Maps and the police gave us these cross streets as the perimeter for this area. They said Union Boulevard, Vickers Drive, control of the pen there. Here we go. Vickers, Tuckerman. This is where you saw Eric Ross just a little bit ago. And then this all continues up towards uh, what is downhill. Uh, well, I'm going to erase this and we're going to redraw that because the way I zoomed out, it didn't uh, really do it. So this is the area we're talking about here. Eric was mentioning there's a lot of businesses right here on Academy and Vickers, that area. And um, this is essentially just a little bit to the east of that. But you're going to want to avoid the area if you're trying to get home tonight because there's going to be a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic on Vickers, a lot of traffic a little further north up here on Dublin. Also, Academy's probably going to be pretty busy this time of day as well. So if you don't have to be in that area, might be good to try and avoid that and look for another way to get around town. But uh, this is the area where that uh, emergency notification went out and that's where those folks were alerted to shelter in place. Right. Andy, thank you again.